Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and this is a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. In this tutorial, we're going to be look at, looking at constants in, um, cl within classes, so within object-oriented programming. So first of all, let's talk about what a constant is. Now a constant is not actually a variable, it's a value that's assigned almost like in the same way as a variable, but it will always remain the same. So you're not going to be able to change the value of this constant, hence the name constant is constantly the same value. So let's have a look at a few examples. We've got pi, for example, is 3.141. So this would be a constant because pi, the value of pi, is never going to change. We could also have something like um, someone's name, for example, if you were specifying a page with just a single name that you knew would never change, could be a constant. So anything can really be a constant. But we're looking at more literal constants like the value of pi, which will never change. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create a class that's going to calculate the area of a circle. So we're going to create a circle class, we're going to have a constant in there called pi, I'm going to show you how to, um, how to use this constant because we, don't, we can't use constants in the same way that we can use variables. Um, and then we're going to cr create a method that's going to calculate the area and then outside of our class we'll create a new instance of our class and we will um, we will find the area with a given radius. So the first thing we need to do is, is create our class. So I'm going to call this class circle. So let's bring down with our uh, curly brackets. We need to now create our constant. So I'm going to first of all demonstrate how we ac access this constant outside of our class and then we can use our method within to uh, use this constant value. So we're going to use the const keyword and then we're going to say pi equals 3.141. And that's it, we've created our constant, the name of our constant is pi for pi, and uh, our constant keyword lets us know that it's a constant. Now outside of our uh, circle class, what happens if we were to say circle equals new circle? So let's just, oh, without the uh, parentheses, let's just double check that that works. Yeah, that's fine. So we've refreshed the page and no errors. Now what I want to do is say circle and usually to reference a variable or a property within our in our class, we would use the hyphen and the greater than sign to say within, and then we could say pi. So this is just going to return the value of pi. Also, we think it may not do. Let's echo it out and see what we get. Okay, so we've got undefined property circle pi, and we, th we think, well, why? I mean, the key is in this dollar sign here. This uh, denotes a variable in PHP or a property in, um, inside of a class. So you can see that it's trying to look for this, um, for this pi variable and it can't find it. So how do we, how do we um, you know, echo out this value of pi if we can't use this method? Well, what we do is we use something um, with, a with a double colon. So we say circle double colon pi. Now let's refresh. Oh, okay, so we've got this error. So um, Let's go ahead and, uh, and change this. What we need to do is we need to say echo circle, and then our two colons, then pi. So now we're getting the value of pi from the circle class. So now we've got the constant value um, displayed to us. So what we can do is we can make use of this inside of our class as well as, as, well as outside our class. We're not going to be echoing um, the pi constant uh, outside of our class, but we're going to be creating a method now inside of our class that's going to, going to calculate the area. So this is going to be a public function, and it's going to be called area. Remember to create your um, parentheses here for your arguments and your um, curly brackets, curly parentheses. We're going to take in a value um, inside our area method, and this is going to be radius. So this is the argument that we're going to take in and process. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to return the value of the area. So the um, formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to return pi times radius times radius. So what we're doing here is we're multiplying radius by itself, so we're, we're squaring radius, and then we're multiplying it by pi. 
Now this isn't going to work as it stands, I've, I've written this like this on purpose because you know that we need some way to access, um, remember before we used this like this, so this and then a hyphen and a greater than sign pi, so we're getting the value of pi from this class as a whole, however this isn't going to work, so let's demonstrate it first without this and then we'll add that in and see that it doesn't work as well. So we've got nothing here, so um, in fact, hold on, let's come down and uh, we'll create a new instance of our class. So let's go circle equals new circle, and then we'll say circle, and we'll say area, and we'll give it a value, so we'll say 100. Let's come in and refresh. Now we can see use of undefined constant pi, assumed pi. So here we have um, use of an undefined constant pi. Now we have defined it up here, however we need to access it in a slightly different way. Now usually we'd write this uh, like this, so we'd do this and a hyphen and a greater than sign and this would usually work. Let's refresh, you can see we've got undefined property again, the same error as we were getting up before. So it's slightly different now, remember I said you can use the double um, colon to access the uh, properties or constants outside of your class, you can do that within as well, but this time instead of writing this, you need to write self, and this is, this is without a... Um, this is without a dollar sign. And the reason for this without a dollar sign is that we're not actually dealing with a variable, we're de dealing with a constant. So it's self just on its own, two colons, pi, the, the name of your constant, which in our case is pi, and then you can perform the rest of the operation. So we've got return self pi. So now let's refresh and you'll see that we've got no errors. We haven't got any output yet because we haven't echoed out the value that this method has returned. So we have a return value here from this method. So let's go ahead and echo that out and see if that works. Okay, so we've got a value return of 31,410. Um, this is right. Uh, the reason we can tell that the calculations have worked is because obviously our value of pi is 3141, uh, 3 point f sorry, 3.141 and we've multiplied that essentially by um, um, 100 squared. So we know this is correct, this value is correct. Okay, so that is um, constants within um, object-oriented programming with PHP, um, how to access them outside your class, how to access them inside your class using this self um, and the two colons, and also a little program that we've uh, created here to calculate the area of a circle.